So I'm not more courageous than anybody else, and I'm not more, you know, uh, I'm not a hero, neither was Danny. I think we're just like two citizens of the world that have decided to remain so, and um, we made that song that is the, you know, the ultimate citizen of the world for me. And, um, and uh, it's very much that, and actually, last time we, we crossed the border, the <laughs> you traveled so much, Adam, that, um, the, the custom officer said, you know, what does this child do for a living? <laughs> you know, and that's who he is. And, and Adam is a very, very hopeful, powerful, uh, joyful person. And, uh, and then when I see him, as you know, I, uh, I, um, I think that, uh, you know, we, we, we have done a good job beyond the questions of life and death. So, um, um, you know, I'm trying to make it short so I can uh, share with you the most important of, of what I have to say. But... Uh, um, you know, am I happy today? Um, you know, obviously I miss Danny. Obviously, you know, uh, it's been hard in terms of the loss. I mean, there's no, um, you know, there's no lessening the, the, you know, the pain of losing somebody you love so much. But I also think that I have been, uh, you know, that uh, ketubah and that um, uh, wedding vows that you, uh, you know, that you read before. I mean, I think I have been faithful to them. And again, um, I think being faithful to. Uh, to what um, you know, you know this whole thing about you know we look outward together, and having not lost that sight is uh, my uh, own personal victory. That's what I called at the beginning of this speech, you know, and I will call it soon. But uh, that's that's my own little human revolution. I think from there on, you know, if you you know operate that kind of changes in you, and you start with you, and you accept to start with you, even though you have every right to you know. To not not to uh, there's no limits to what anybody can do. So my hopes is that you know this is just my own personal story. And obviously it's not going to happen to you. It's you know it's a uh, uh, but um, um, you know if I can inspire uh, you know people and young people to to uh, accept you know to try to to start to change with them within themselves. And there's no limit to how much Tikkun Olam we could do, how much we can change and repair the world. I also think that's the only way to go. Uh, so I'm just going to like um, tell you just two little things uh, about Adam, so you can, you know, you'll, you'll see that he's doing fine in his, his spirit. So he's six years old now, and um, so one day we were riding, we were, um, sorry, uh, we were driving somewhere in some country, I don't remember what, and, and uh, the Rolling Stones were playing on the radio, and, um, and it was um, 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 Can Get No Satisfaction. So Adam, you know, listened to the song, the whole song, and then after the song was finished, he said, uh, Mom, I don't think this guy is trying hard enough. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then, you know, and that's, that's who he is, you know, he's like, you know, very, and, and, you know and, and he knows what happened to his father. I mean, I've told him the truth. I mean, you know, not all details, but the uh, truth. He knows, he knows uh, he's not a naive child, he knows. And, um, and the other thing he told me that really, you know, makes me feel like, you know, uh, it's, it's okay is um, one day he asked me, um, um, are, you, um, are you going to teach me everything you know? And I said, of course, you know, that's what I'm here for. And he said, well, it's a good thing because I'm going to teach you everything you don't know. <laughs> and that's, you know, and that's exactly, that's exactly that. You know, I think, uh, you know, um, uh, life goes on and it keeps going and, and um, and uh, we'll just, you know, do our own, you know, share of the work. And I'm happy I shared that with you today. I know it's pretty intense, but I have very little time. I came here for that, and I hope you can uh, use it. And I asked, um, asked where are you? I asked a young person to come and actually give my closing remarks for me, because I thought, you know, pass on to the new generation. And it is the, the, actually the epilogue of uh, Mighty Heart. Um, and it's, uh, I, I owe it to a, um, a Canadian poet. Diane Ackerman. Uh, so he's going to read for us uh, a few lines from um, a poem called uh, The Guardian. Guardian. I swear I will not dishonor my soul with hatred, but offer myself humbly as a guardian of nature, as a healer of misery, as a messenger of wonder, as an architect of peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. 